Hello all, in this video let us take a look into the new feature of KPIs which can be created as part of SSRS Report Manager in SQL Server 2016. As part of SQL Ser Server 2016 SSRS announcements, a new modern browser has been released for uh, the SQL Server reporting services. So previously whatever we had is uh, kind of a folder structure. Uh, where we can upload our files and then you know you can um, uh, view the reports from there all those stuffs and uh, but in the new reporting services environment we can create KPIs and we can um, upload mobile reports and then you know it's kind of a uh, uh, enhanced in a way to uh, look like a modern portal and then it looks really nice and you could see the screenshot of our old uh, um, uh, reporting manager in the uh, 2012 version or 2014 version and this is for the uh, 2016 version so as on the top you could see there is something some kind of colorful kpis has been created and uh, it can be displayed in this manner itself in the srs uh, reporting services whichever uh, you know kpis you want to highlight and then to be seen over there on the front page itself we can make it to display over here so let us take a look on uh, how to create these KPIs in the SSRS Reporting Manager. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, the uh, complete look and feel of the SSRS itself has been uh, changed and here you could see there is a KPI which I already have created. Um, before going into this, you know, let us take a look into the data set what has been used. Um, so this is a this is the order quantity data set uh, from a worldwide uh, uh, wide world importers DW database which is the latest new database for the SQL Server 2016 and um, we will miss adventure works I guess going forward so this is going to be our um, uh, sample database for us uh, going forward so here what we have I would try to bring it out is like you know this year wise we are getting the order quantity and then uh, we are setting a status saying that if this order quantity of the previous year um, is greater than the current year or we could say it in this way if current years order quantity is less than the previous year order quantity then we are putting the status as uh, minus one if not if it is reverse we are putting the status as one and uh, the goal side we have set the previous year order quantity itself as a goal for the uh, demonstration purpose so by using that uh, specific um, uh, data points I created this KPI already um, you can take a look that you know this is the value of the current years um, order quantity and then this trend line whatever you have shown here is based on this all these four values and then uh, you know this minus 43 percentage is what is the difference between the order quantity current and then the goal that is our goal is has been set as like you know previous year order quantity which is uh, almost uh, 63 million plus so now let us quickly take a look how to create this okay so here in the new menu we can select this kpi and uh, once you select this this window will pop up and here um, where we can set up the KPI name let me say it as a demo KPI um, and the value format is what you will what kind of formatting is required for this value right now currently it is showing some kind of random number so let us say if you are saying abbreviated it will become 163k or if you are having millions it will say 163 million or something like that and if you want to say currency you can it will it will show with the currency symbol and can change whatever you know required currency is for you for example if i change it to inr it, it gives the um, indian rupees symbol uh, for our demo purpose let us keep it as uh, usd itself now similar way we are having various formats like you know currency with decimals means it will give the cents also over there and if it is abbreviated currency it will be like a combination of the currency symbol and uh, it will show the k or million or billion based on the values whatever we are getting so that is the value format and uh, you know this is a value what needs to be displayed here right so we do expect to display the 
current year's order quantity over there. So there are couple of options here. Either you can enter the value manually. So you can whatever you entered here manually is what it's showing here. You can choose that to come from a data set. So the data set is nothing but uh, whatever a data set we has been created and deployed a shared data set which has been created and deployed already in the uh, reporting services. So here let us choose this uh, KPI demo which has the um, data of this uh, data set of this query. So here we are having uh, uh, the four records and uh, we would like to have the order quantity of the 2016 the last um, record or the last row. So we can choose various aggregation either you can choose um, uh, first class min max or average or sum if you are if you are having one common data set and we can use it for the um, use it for this multiple different KPIs be using this aggregation out here by bringing the granular data into the data set. So for our demo purpose let us choose the last of order quantity and once you click OK. It is, it is just getting the data, it is running the data set and it is just getting the data. So you should notice, you could notice that, you know, it's bringing 36.1 million. That is our last uh, row value closely. So let us try to change, you know, because this is not a currency. Um, so let us make it as general so that you could see the complete value over here. All right. So now the goal also has, uh, you know, either you cannot, we can just leave it without setting it or, you know, you can, uh, or we can get it from a data set or we can set it off manually. So let us go for a data set field. And uh, from the same data set, we are having a goal also. And uh, the goal, let us choose the similar thing as last. This is our goal. So let's say OK. So that's where the it finds the difference between the goal and the um, current uh, value. So if you notice here, this goal can we can say that you know not set, but here the value field we cannot say as not set. Either one of the values should be given over there. Okay. So similar cases for uh, this uh, status as well. Uh, let us choose the status from the data set again. So here we are having the last of the status because we have computed the status in the query itself. If you notice the color now got changed to red. So the status is basically three values. One is uh, minus one, zero, one. So for one, the color will change red. For zero, oh sorry, for one, the color will be green. For zero, the color will be yellow. And uh, for minus one, the color will be red. So we have set the status here as minus one due to the fact that the order quantity is uh, order quantity is lesser than the goal. So that's why we have set the status as minus one. The next one what we are having is the trend set. So for example, here you have given here manually it has been entered as 1434 Based on that, this trend lines are being shown here. Instead of that, I'm trying to pick up it from the data set. Let us choose the data set trend. And then from here, we are picking up the value of order quantity. It will show the trend based on this order quantity, whatever has been uh, shown here. So you could see based on that order quantity, this trend line has been shown. So here we can modify the visualization. Like, you know, if you want as a bar chart or if you want a line or it want a stepped line or you can show it as a kind of a area chart, right? Any, any, anything, if you don't want any visualization, we can just remove it off. So here, let us choose the bar chart itself. And uh, there is one another property called related content. So this related content, you can provide a mobile report or you can provide a custom URL over here. Okay, so for demonstration purpose, um, let me use this URL, which which is going to have a detail of this data set. You can you can click on this link and see further details over here. So 
that's how you will create a KPI. I'm just putting the description as well as the demo KPI over here and let's say create. So now this demo KPI got created and uh, you could see whatever your setup you know we can see here and once you click this it would show all the things whatever your setup already. So as we as you notice we have already given the related content we are given this URL which has been displayed here so once you click this it, it will take you to the another report or any other custom URL can be provided here so the idea is whenever we are seeing a KPI and then you know if you want to understand that in more details you know we can create one another detailed report for that and uh, we can provide that custom URL over uh, uh, the specific uh, um, KPI so that you know user can uh, see drill through kind of uh, um, setup so here you could see they can come here and then see the more it in more details you know what what is happening here or you know further uh, um, analysis can be done from here all right so that is what all i have for the um, ssrs report managers kpi and then you know um, the sql server 2016 developer edition is free with uh, visual studio dev essential membership you can uh, always try and download and try things over here um, thank you very much for watching this video i will uh, meet you all soon uh, with my next video thank you